was born in Toledo, Ohio, 91 years ago. I was the only child. That time was around Depression time, and a lot of people couldn't, didn't have anything to eat. People was lying in, for blocks in line to get stuff, and uh, it was horrible. I can remember because I was at the age I could remember a lot of this. Went to Woodward High School. Graduated from there, and about uh, seven months later, I got I got uh, a message that says I have to go to the army. I don't want nothing to do with the army. I want the navy because I don't like to walk like they do at the infantry. My mother and dad had a sign for me to go to the navy. I was only 17. And then you start firing, and boy, you don't stop. We had five inch, 20 millimeters. We had torpedoes. Uh, we had, uh, let's see, hedgehogs. We had everything, nothing but firepower, brand new. When everything goes off, it's well, like the 20 millimeters, and then you got the five inch, and then you got the 40 millimeters. When all that's going at once, you can't believe it. It's so loud. When a bomb from Normandy hit our ship, it didn't go off. And you know why? The Czechoslovakians, they were sabotaging the Germans. The Germans didn't know it. They saved more ships in Normandy than you can believe. And that's a true story, too, because I was there. <laughs> I seen any Czechoslovakian to this day, boy, I'd really hug them, because I wouldn't be here talking to you even. I was in Normandy, and from there, I went over to the Pacific. We got seven kamikaze planes. One, one hit the deck, went right off the deck, right into the ocean. But I was only 17 and I, the first six months I didn't pay any attention, but after I got in all this firing and everything, I, I was worried a lot of times, but it came through it okay. We was gonna go in, right into Japan. It come over, the Truman dropped the pop, atomic bomb. Oh, it saved my life again. We was so happy because we had to go in the, right into there. We was ready to go. Oh, I was just happy. Oh my gosh, we just raving at everybody, hollering at everybody. Oh yeah, never will forget that. And I was on there from the beginning to the end on that ship. And not one person got hurt on that ship. All the time, the stuff that we had done. Not one person. I was really lucky. Before the war, I had a girlfriend. Her name was Wilma Jean Stahlbaum. We used to go out occasionally, and I thought, geez, I'm gonna have to send her a card. I sent her a card, I said, I'll see you when you get home. I got home, nine months later, we got married. I have three boys, a grandson, and my wife passed on uh, eight years ago. So I was married 60 years, and what a great time. I like to dance. And I like to walk a lot, and I like a lot of recreation, going different places. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I'm just proud of my dad. I love my dad. He's great. He, uh, he's, always, he's always been there for us and that, and I'm proud to have him as my father. Two, three great sons. They always look out for me to this day. Yeah. Always worry about me, but I can take care of myself yet. <laughs>